Now in this question we need to work out how much energy is required to boil a kettle with 300 grams of water that starts at 20 degrees, so about room temperature. And it says here that the specific heat capacity of water is 4,200 joules uh, per degree per Celsius. Now um, there's a couple of assumptions we're going to make. First of all, that um, there's no energy that's sort of being transferred to the kettle, so all of the energy that gets transferred goes into the water. And secondly, if the kettle is boiling, well it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so there's some information here that's kind of implied but not actually given as a number in the question. So, what do we know? Well, the mass is going to be equal to 0 0.300 kilograms. So I've converted from grams to kilograms. Um, the change in temperature, and we use theta to be temperature, because that's a bit like the Greek letter T. So that delta theta is going to be equal to 100, its final temperature, minus 20.0, its initial temperature, which is going to be 80.0 degrees Celsius. And again, we've got our specific heat capacity of water here. So the equation we're going to use is that delta E is equal to mc delta theta. We can then uh, look at this by putting in the numbers. We then just need to use our calculator to work this out. So it's 0 0.3 times 4,200 times 80. And this gives an answer of 100,800. So big numbers. Now what we can do, uh, we can either, so if I just write this out at the moment, uh, so that's the amount of joules of energy required. Now sometimes when you have big numbers, it's actually useful to use a prefix in front. So we could give this in kilojoules. And also we want to maybe just convert this to three significant figures like our raw data that we have here. So I could also write this as 101 kilojoules. And that's probably a more appropriate way to give our answer for the amount of energy needed to boil this kettle.